players' confirmation of the thought we've already had uh, in a week's time. We will all be in the museum for the first time ever this year. We've had five tournaments promoted to premier Super Series events. We've also had the first ever million dollar tournament. That was the Korean Open, the first premier first million dollar event. And today, we have finals day here for you. And the Singapore. We're starting with mixed doubles, then we'll have all women's singles in the European champion from Denmark, Tina Baum, taking on the former world number one, Wang Sin. And then, absolute tragedy, the Olympic champion, Lin Dan, has withdrawn from the men's singles final against the current world champion, Chen Jin, his teammate. But after the, uh, the women's singles, we've moved to the women's doubles. The Asian Games gold medalists from China, Ms. Han, and then the last of our five finals this afternoon is men's doubles. Current world champions Kai Yun of Fu Hai Fung will take on the Indonesians. Chandra and Gunawan looking for their first ever title. But Indonesians, as you can see, are involved in the first of today's finals. It's mixed doubles. Tantoi, Akhmat and Liliana Natsia taking on the unseeded combination from Taipei. Cheng Hun Ling and Chen Wen-Sing. Unseeded pair from Taipei. What a terrific tournament they've had. But for Tantori, Akhmar, Dan Liliana, that's it. The number four seeds. Overwhelming favourites, of course, against the unseeded pair of Chen Kung-Ling and Chen Wen-Sing. But my goodness, the pair from Taipei have been playing well. Disposed of the number three seeds in the very first round, Jochen Fischer, Nielsen and Christina Peterson. Since then, they've just got better and better. So, of course, the buzz around the Singapore Indoor Stadium has all revolved around the fact that Lin Dan will not be contesting today's men's singles final. But let's not let that detract from the other four finals because we have some thrilling matches coming up and I think this one will be a close encounter too. There's Tantoi Akhmad, 23 years of age, and he'll turn 24 next month. Um, and Yamas, which is the southwest part of central Java. And Liliana Natsia comes from Manado, in the north of North Sulawesi. 25 years of age she is, and lovely to see her back. Missed the Sudaman Cup in Qingdao due to an elbow injury. And you can see she's got strapping around that right elbow. Now, of course, Liliana Natsia is a three-time champion here of the mixed doubles with her former partner, Nova Widianto. Won the title in 2004, 2006, and 2008. And in fact, last year was in the final yet again. But she and Nova Widianto lost out to Thomas Leibold and Camilla Oru to York. Seeded four, as I say, world ranking at five at the moment and their win-loss record for the year translates into the fact that the last two tournaments they played they won the malaysian grand prix gold was the last one and just prior to that the week before that they took their first ever super series title in delhi the india super series so two titles back to back they're trying to make it a hat trick trying to win three in a row as far as they are concerned in the individual competition as I was saying, the pair from Taipei, Chen Hun Ling and Chen Wen Sing, have been in great form this week. As we first of all look at the results of the Indonesians, and let me draw your attention to the second round encounter against the All England champions, Xu Chen and Ma Jin, two straight games. Then in the quarterfinal against the Olympic champion, Li Yong Dae, now playing with Ha Jong Un, two straight games there. And then in the semi final, defeated the current world number ones, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yun Ding. So all of those in two straight games, that's just an indication of their form in this tournament, the Indonesians. 
and growing in confidence all the time. As far as Chen Hunling and Chen Wen Sing are concerned, Chen Hunling, he's 25 years of age, Chen Wen Sing, 29. They're down one place in the world rankings, down to 14 this week. They only formed their partnership last year and they're still looking for their first ever title. In fact, they've only been in one previous final prior to this. That was last year when they lost in the final of the Canadian Open. They did play this tournament last year. Lost in the semi-final stage to one of their opponents of today, Liliana Natsia. Of course, as I've already mentioned, last year she was playing with Noble Woody Anto. Anderson of Sweden is our umpire. Chulat Magadda of Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, on our right, sorry, the service judge is Wolfgang Lund from France. Chinese Taipei. Can you make it so to Liliana Nazir Lavo play? So the unseeded combination of Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing. Oh. On our side of the court and the first of our finals underway. This is the fourth meeting between these two pairs, the previous three occasions, and all been won by the Indonesians. was telling me just before the finals got underway and how much her partner has grown in confidence. We won the last two tournaments that they've played. Now, if you're a follower of badminton, you will know that Chen Wen Sing in recent months has really been struggling with lack of confidence on her side. She and Chen Yu Chin course have been number one in the world in women's doubles and she is flip serving virtually all the time now because she's just got no confidence on her own side. a little bit nervous that'd be understandable and uh, never really got behind that did he from Taipei yesterday in their semi-final against former world champion Nathan Robertson with his new partner Jenny Woolwick. 
very, very impressive really two very comfortable games. So Kelly Williams new partner. Yes, they've been playing together since the last Olympic Games. After the time to Fairlands. Just Seven, extraordinary. Five. Chin wincing. Managed to control the net reply. Unfortunately, we didn't see it, but it was just extraordinary. between the two women who can really dominate the front of the court. Champion Liliana Nazia. Ten eight. Won the world title in both 2005 and 2007. Of course, Olympic silver medalist as well. And I wonder if her experience will really make the difference today. Well, this is how Ahmad has really developed as a player. When I first saw him last year, he really wanted to hit everything hard, and now is much more tactically astute. Sees the gaps, mixes up the pace a lot better, goes for angles. And Richard Manaki, my coach, I think urging him to keep the shuttle going in a downward direction. had gone forward to the nets and in all honesty I think he probably should have left this lift to his partner Liliana could have played it she's a very strong player yeah. 
do think that she's developing as a mixed doubles player as well. I think from this new partnership, she's much more willing to be adventurous, go forward to the net, try and intercept more. And she was playing with Nova Woody Anto. I felt at times they were too content because they both got such good defences. Just to sit back and let the opponents attack them, whereas now well, she's got the freedom to go forward a little bit more. serve well in doubles. Error on the flick serve there. doesn't appear to be able to serve low and her partner Chen Hong Ning is beginning to flick serve as well so opponents getting very used to the fact that they're just going to move back in court to receive the flick serve good crowd in here this afternoon something special in world terms for some time now five semi-finals last year including a bronze medal at the asian games in Hong Kong. saw that chen wen sing was rated in the crouch defense position therefore smashing across the body towards her backhand side Seeds just two points away from this open game. Now just the one. Well, they've been far more aggressive with the two pairs. Opponents 
and control at the front of the court as well. Three times more winners from the net, and that's due in large part to Liliana Natsia. And this aggressive play, and that last rally, typical of the style with which the Indonesians have played the open rally. And their reward, 21-14 in 13 minutes of play. As far as the Taipei pair are concerned, two things they really have to try and do is get more of the attack and play themselves. Oh, that's in. That's a lovely look. In the second innings, we've got to find some good short serving. Flick again. Yep. Just wide. because her neck killed she was in sync hit the other one and that's her on the head ooh, man, that will hurt well, oh. Claire oh. from Taipei Six. really beginning to find their range now and they are attacking a lot better
to defend on the forehand stance. She got pushed further and further out of court. And that left a huge gap. Let's have a look at this. She's in the tram line. She's out of the court altogether. No wonder there was a gap for the Indonesians to find in their attacking play. Doubles, of course, Chin Wen Sing with Chien Yu Chin. Well, it's bewildering so that she's had such problems with her long serve for so long. And yet she still does incredibly well in world terms. Just think how good she could be if she found her confidence on her low serve once again. Oh. Ooh, oh. 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 That wasn't even close. Not even close. And that just really exemplifies the problem. To play first from Liliana Nazia and then from Chen Hung Ling. So often in mixed doubles, it's the woman at the front of the court that finishes off the rally. And certainly, for the Indonesians, when they formed their partnership last year, their first three tournaments, they reached three finals. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, one, two of them, the one in the car and the Indonesian Grand Prix gold event. Beaten finalists in Taipei. And this pair from Taipei didn't have such a spectacular start to their partnership, but they've been making steady progress, very consistent. serving 
very well taken, very sharp. If only, only she could see it. So the final point advantage. The final who limit by Chen Wen C. And the number five ranked pair in the world. There they are, the number four seeds. Who were in total command, really, in the opening game. Just taking the foot off the pedal a little. combination lucky to get away with that neither of them reacting to this lift from Liliana but it was just long of the back line with Tantohi Ahmad now he's really moving his base further forward up the court getting closer he's oh. really the net. when I first watched him play he was very much a real court player whereas now he's moved his base forward to the mid-court area it means that any pushes down the side of the court like that he could take early and then just guide it into the open space Straight points. the sort of positive play down with sharks the attacking sharks that they were employing so well in the opening game
just now a run of six straight points for the Indonesians. 14. Attacking play, and he switched once again. on his serve. Serve, big high serve. Oh, oh, what an injury line. He forgets his best, better than serving way into the net. So oh, she's a great player. It's just astonishing that there's one in such glaring weakness. She's won this title three times previously. This is her fifth final. Oh! He's missed it. It's all level.
nicely. And she knows it. from the net, the right to go for it. Another amazing combination, now just two points away from the second Super Series title. for the Indonesians. <laughs> to serve forehand. I wonder if she'll change her mind. Yeah. Ah. Now going from the backhand, flick serve. Ah. Ah. And she's managed one low serve this match, I think. Gifting away the attacking play to her opponents time and time again. So for the Indonesians, a third match point opportunity.
23 match points. Now Chen and Chen have a game point to extend this to a third and decider. She's going to serve forehand, serve high. Yeah, and many on the starting way back in court. Oh, my goodness. But I didn't mean a, a high, low serve. She was waiting, Liliana, for the high serve to the back of the court. Look how loose that is. Dear, oh, dear. Well... It's got to be psychological. She's such a wonderful badminton player. In all other departments, she simply can't serve. Ah! 25-24. And a fourth match point opportunity for the number four seeds from Indonesia. Sudden death. First one to 30. Oh, still some way off that, but my goodness. Could happen. Ah! Fifth match point for Ahmad and Maxi. What a way to get off our final day here at the Lini Singapore Open.
tadi di set kedua kita sempat ketinggalan kita kita ya tadi setiap set kedua kita sempat ketinggalan tapi kita tetap fokus tetap nggak uh, lengah jadi uh, satu-satu poin kita konsentrasi terus sampai bisa menyamakan kedudukan di situ kita udah mulai uh, pede dan yakin bisa menang ibu bapak saya juara amin berkat doanya Celebrations. Minor point, I know, but without opponents, there is no contest, and therefore, no joy of winning. And therefore, your opponents are the essential part of sport, and therefore, they should always be thanked for their involvement. Passage of play, and it was all on the Liliana Natsia serve. But dear, oh dear, what can one say about the serving of Chen Wen Singh? Obviously, needs not only technical help, more importantly, she needs psychological help. Like a golfer getting the yips on there. Putting. The rest of her game is absolutely superb. Prize presentation ceremony for the mixed doubles. We would like to invite Madam Halima Yakov, Minister of State, Community, Youth and Sports, and Mr. Liv Taekin, Chief Executive Officer, Singapore Sports Council, to present the prizes. Receiving the runners-up prize of the park and cash prize of US $7,600 from Chinese Taipei, Chen Hongling and Chen Wen-Sing. While well, in their second ever final, still looking at three of their first ever title. But they've made huge steps forward this week because this was their first ever Super Series tournament final for Chen Hongling. And when sink, it's like a point where we could be quite awesome. And Kim Wen Sink finds the confidence once again on her own side. For the fourth time in her career, Liliana Natsia takes 
the title here at the Singapore Open. The next doubles title, the first time that she's won the title with this man, so Tantawi Akma. Their second Super Series title in two Super Series events played. The last Super Series prior to this in India, they won the title there. They've repeated that feat here again in Singapore. Third title in three tournaments played because in between those two Super Series events, they won the Malaysia Grand Prix Donald. Well, the Taipei pair will really reflect on what might have been. On the podium for a photo opportunity. So players, please remain on the podium. Two of the Indonesians thoroughly deserve the title today. More aggressive in their style. Certainly in the open game. Nine women smashes as opposed to just... Once four. again, a big round of applause for our mixed doubles winners. Total control at the net in the opening game from Liliana Maxi.